most deadly weapon aboard U.S. naval ships in 2022. The other nations can't afford to establish a navy that can compare to the United States Navy. In this video, you'll learn about different kinds of guns and missiles U.S. ships are armed with. The U.S. Navy comprises modern long-range weapons such as advanced rail guns, universal ship installations, and powerful lasers. These weapons will change warfare meta radically. You're going to want to stay till the end of the video because we're sharing the secret of why the U.S. has a better navy than even China. Otto Malera The 76.2mm Otto Malera came into service for the U.S. Navy back in 1975. It is still utilized by several ships including frigates, patrol boats, corvettes, squadrons, and destroyers. The system is extraordinary as it has an exceptional fire rate and a variation in ammunition. It makes it capable of providing air and ground support to the ship. The Otto Malera uses armor-piercing incendiary and fragmentation projectiles to engage a guided projectile capable of destroying anti-ship missiles. It can be installed in an invisible dome on the ship to hide the cannon. This way, the enemy won't know what hit them. Did you know that the U.S. Army uses Mark 38 that can fire non-stop using M242? It is an automatic gun developed by McDonnell Douglas engineers. It can vary its firing rate by taking single shots to its maximum safe rate of fire. The fire rate depends upon the pressure drops in the barrel after firing along with the mechanical endurance of the unit. The gun engages the surface and coastal targets. Moreover, it can sometimes be used in combat. This gun got a lot of upgrades that increase the rate at which it fires, allowing it to be more operative during combat. Railgun the railgun is a futuristic weapon that uses electromagnetic force, helping its projectiles to accelerate at intense speeds. The range of railgun was 112 miles in 2015, and engineers wanted to increase it to 250 miles, which is a lot. The reason for this is that no weapons except missiles can compare to railgun in terms of range. Missiles cost millions of dollars to the military, whereas the railgun shell costs around twenty to $25,000. As far as the transportation and loading of ammunition are concerned, railgun doesn't create any difficulties. To every pro, there's a con. One of the very few advantages of railguns is that it manufactures projectiles from materials having minimum conductivity. Only specified projectiles can be fired from a railgun and any other kind of projectile will vaporize without being fired. Another disadvantage is power consumption. A 70 megawatt railgun consumes power that equals the power consumption of a whole town. Have you ever wondered about the laser weapon suppressing the electronic systems of air targets? In 2007, the laser weapon weapon was designed and developed by engineers from Kratos Defense and Security Solutions. These weapons were established to decimate drones, fighter jets, and small maritime vessels. The laser systems have a low cost of ammunition, which is less than a dollar. The laser systems can be used for disabling electronics and damaging equipment physically. Missile Systems The U.S. Navy includes a versatile torpedo named Tamark 48, which was designed to hit targets at a long range. It is equipped with an active and passive guidance system to target submarines and surface objects quickly. If it ever misses the missile, the multiple attack system of the Mark 48 rescans, finds, and destroys its target. Another missile of the U.S. Navy is the UGM-133A Trident II. USS Ohio-class submarines can carry up to 24 Trident IIs, has a range of 7,000 miles, and high accuracy that allows it to engage most hardened targets, like bunkers and intercontinental ballistic missile silos. The SM-2 is a new anti-aircraft missile of the U.S. Navy, and it is equipped with combat ships. The second version includes a new combined guidance system. Due to this, the Army did not have to provide a radar beam to the projectile to illuminate the target. They could detect the targets themselves with the help of radio corrections transmitted to the missile. On the other hand, SM-3 was developed to be the legacy of its initial versions. It is a surface-to-air guided missile that included its very own warhead. It is directed by a high-resolution infrared warhead and can withstand below ballistic and interballistic missile warheads. In 2001 to 2002, it successfully intercepted a simulated ballistic missile warhead in an altitude of 155 miles. If you have reached this far in the video, we would like to thank you. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and enjoy more content like this. America's military budget has been better than China for so many years, and this fact gives a huge advantage to the U.S. when it comes to modern weaponry. China has a greater number of vessels, but if the United States Navy valued the number of ships, it could build more small boats with the same budget. America values the quality of the vessels over the quantity and built 100,000 ton flat deck aircraft carriers and 40,000 ton smaller aircraft carriers. The U.S. Navy includes huge surface 
combatants with enhanced radar and missile defense systems. They did not prioritize small combat ships or mine warfare vessels. The number of ships matters for some reasons, but the recent calculations suggest that the US Navy has a tonnage of at least twice that of China's. Moreover, the US Navy has two oceans to cover that extend to the Persian Gulf. However, China can extend its activities to the Western Pacific. America is planning to enhance its navy to compete against the Chinese as well as the Russian Navy. And for that, they have developed powerful modern weaponry, including guns and missiles. Do you think that this advanced and modern weaponry will help the US outperform Russia and China? Be sure to watch our other video related to the fighter jets. Incredible US F-22 Raptor shows its insane ability. Thank <laughs> you.